Welcome back. From the Louis Rubido Library in beautiful Harupa Valley, California, it's this week for the second week of January, 2021. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to author George Alec Effinger, born on the 10th of January, 1947. Happy January 11th birthday to keyboardist Tony Kay, born in 1946, a member of the band Yes. Happy birthday, the 12th of January, to Haruki Murakami, born in 1952, author of numerous novels, both written and visual. Happy January 13th birthday to guitarist, composer, Trevor Rabin, born in 1954, also a member of the band Yes. As you may figure it out, Yes is my favorite band. Happy January 14th birthday to author John Dos Passos, born in 1896. Happy January 15th birthday to the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., born in 1929, who had a dream and reminded us that we can't wait. Happy January 16th birthday to writer, philosopher, Susan Sontag born in 1933. Some notable events for this week include from the 10th of January, 1927, Metropolis premieres in Berlin, Germany. Fritz Lang's movie was one of the first, if not the first, dystopian science fiction futurist movie ever made. On the 11th of January, 1908, Congress creates the Grand Canyon National Park as part of the national park system. On the 12th of January, 1932, the Honorable Hattie Carraway is elected as the first female Senator in the United States. On the 13th of January, 1847, the Treaty of Cahenga ends the Mexican-American War's hostilities here in California. It was signed at the ranch house for Campo Cajenga, which is located in what is now the San Fernando Valley. The house still stands. It is a state and national historic monument and is a museum. It sits on Lancashire Boulevard across the street from the main entrance to Universal Studios here in Southern California. The next time you're over there, stop by. It is a very historical place. On the 14th of January, 1972, Margaret II is crowned Queen of Denmark. The first female queen of the Danish kingdom in over 585 years. On the 15th of January, 1919, the Great Molasses Flood occurs in Boston, Massachusetts where a large tank of molasses burst, proceeding to flood a portion of downtown Boston. It did really happen. On the 16th of January, 2006, the Honorable Ellen Sirleaf is inaugurated as president of Liberia, which also made her the first female head of state in the entire African continent in the modern era. Let us celebrate because January is National Hot Tea Month. The second week of January is also National Pizza Week. And I'm thinking of lunch right now. The 10th of January 
is National Bittersweet Chocolate Day, which is my preferable kind. The 11th of January is National Clean Off Your Desk Day. Although we don't necessarily advise you to clean off your desk of the important the 12th of January is National Marzipan Day. And marzipan with bittersweet chocolate is absolutely delicious. The 13th of January is National Sticker Day. Question, what do you call a sticker after you have stuck it someplace? It should be called a stucker. The 14th of January is National Hot Pastrami Sandwich Day. Oh boy, are we talking about food or what? I prefer pickles, mustard, and cheese on mine. The 15th of January is National Hat Day. The 15th of January is also International Museum Selfie Day. And one might include libraries in that, if you'd like to go to your library and take a selfie of you reading or browsing in our books. The 16th of January is National Fig Newton Day. People sometimes forget. And yes, this is a joke. But remember, Isaac Newton's brother, Fig, invented the Fig Newton. Yes, that is a joke, but feel free to tell it. The 16th of January is International Hot and Spicy Food Day. Oh, between the pizza, the pastrami, the spicy foods, the hot tea and the marzipan, my lunch is really starting to get big. On behalf of the Riverside County Library System, we wish you all to have a great week. Please log on to our system and request your materials today.